What are you doing? Those cookies just look so good. I just couldn't resist taking one. You know you're not supposed to take something without asking first. I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey, why don't you come and join us for our time translation today? We're learning about self-control. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back. It is so great to have each and every one of you with us today. So as I mentioned earlier on, we're going to be learning about the fruit of the spirit, self-control. And this is the last fruit of the spirit that we'll be learning about, but it's also a really important one. Um, excuse me. Yes? What is self-control? Well, Nico, self-control is the ability to control yourself. Kind of weird, isn't it? But that's exactly what it means. Self-control means having the ability to control how we think, what our, about our choices, what we do, what we say. It means to have the ability to resist temptations that may come our way. And I've got a Bible verse that I would like to read to you guys, and it's found in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. So you see, boys and girls, when we have God in our hearts, and when we've got the fruit of the Spirit, we have the power to resist temptation. Does this mean it'll always be easy? Well, it might not always be easy to resist temptation, but I've got three steps that I'm going to teach you guys that can help you to have self-control next time you maybe are faced with something that is tempting. Okay, so the first step is to stop what you're about to do or say. The second step is to think about your choices. And the third step is to do what will please God. So Miko, what, what should you do next time you're faced with something tempting, like the plate of cookies earlier on? Stop what I'm about to do. Think about my choices. I could just take the cookies or I can find someone to ask if I can have some. And by asking someone instead of just taking what's not mine, that will make God happy. That's right, exactly. So boys and girls, next time you're faced with temptation, or you're about to maybe do or say something that might not be quite right, think about these three steps. Stop what you're about to do or say. Think about your choices. And do what will please God. Come and sit together. Stop, think, think do. do. One more time, let's say it. Stop, think, think do. do. Well done, boys and girls, that's great. So boys and girls, that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And thank you to my little friend, Miko, for helping us out with our lesson today. We're gonna go over to our song and dance of the fruit of the spirit. But before we do, let's close in prayer. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this wonderful day and this wonderful time that we've had together, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would be with every boy and girl, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would keep their families safe, keep their families healthy. And Lord, I pray that you would help us to be filled with the fruit of the Spirit, that we will have all the fruit, Lord, and that we will learn to have self-control, Lord, and that we will all apply these three simple steps, Lord. I pray that you keep us all safe in this new week and everything that we do and say, Lord. And I pray this in your amazing and almighty name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's go enjoy the song and dance now, boys and girls. Bye. The fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. The fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. You want to be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. If you want to be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. 
of the spear is not a lemon. The fruit of the spear is not a lemon. If you want to be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spear is not a cherry. The fruit of the spear is not a cherry. If you want to be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. You wanna be a grape? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is a love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control.